Hey everybody, I'm Ms. Carpenter and today we're going to talk about DSLRs. DSLR stands for Digital Single Lens Reflex Camera. Yeah, that's why we say DSLR. Inside the camera body is a mirror. This reflects the light coming from the lens into the viewfinder by way of a prism or a series of additional mirrors. This is how you can see what you're filming right through the lens. DSLRs are used for photography, but they can also be used for videos. Okay, first things first, put your camera in video mode. On my camera, I can switch to video on the dial. But every camera is different. For our class, I want you to practice filming using manual mode and manual focus. So make sure you're in manual mode. And for your focus, you can switch it here. One of the great things about being in manual mode is that you can dictate exactly how you want it to look with the different functions, giving you just the right shot you're looking for. Creative control. So in this video, and as you're practicing in manual mode, we're going to focus on four basic elements. Those elements are frame rate, shutter speed, aperture, which is measured in f-stops, and ISO. Frame rate. Frame rate is measured in FPS, or frames per second, which basically means that's how many frames are being filmed in a second. Was that self-explanatory? Let's get scientific real quick. The human eye processes things we see in a sequence of images, so what we may feel like is a static shot is actually taking our eye 10 to 12 images a second to put together, and then we perceive that as an individual image. You can get to your frame rate settings on your camera by going here, and it'll show up on your display as well. Okay, so when we're talking about video, standard frame rates are 24, 30, 60 and 120. Those numbers, depending on the camera you use, might differ by a smidge. So for my camera, instead of 24, it's 23.98. Instead of 60, it's 59.98. The higher the frame rate, the more images per second are being filmed. This makes 60 and 120 idea for doing quality slow motion filming. Quality. Next up, shutter speed. Shutter speed controls the duration of the exposure, how long the shutter is open and letting light in. This is going to depend on your frame rate. So general rule of thumb is double your frame rate to get your shutter speed. So if you're filming in 24 FPS, then your shutter speed should be 48. But here's the thing, there's not gonna be a 48. If the number you're looking for isn't there, round up slightly. There isn't a 48, but there is a 50, which will work just fine. How do you view or change your shutter speed? Good question. You can look at it right here. Aperture. Aperture is a small set of blades in the lens that control how much light will enter the camera. For real. Those blades can be widened or closed to a small hole. If the aperture is wide, more light is allowed in. If your aperture is more closed, the less light comes in. Aperture is measured in f-stops. A high f-stop, like f22, means there's not a lot of light coming in. A low f-stop, like 3.5, means it's pretty wide open. Let the light shine in. Your aperture also controls how sharp your picture is based on your depth of field. So if you have a shallow depth of field, something closer to you, you want a low f-stop. If you have a full depth of field, like a landscape, you'll want a higher f-stop. This also is a tool to use when you want your background to be more blurred out when your focus is on a certain subject. Small f-stop, 1.4, is a beautiful thing. This is how you change your f-stop. ISO, last stop, ISO. ISO measures the sensitivity of the camera's image sensor. The lower the number, the less sensitive your camera is to light and the finer the grain. The higher the ISO, the brighter your image, but you'll also get more grain, which is known as noise. Staying below 1600 is what I aim for. Filmmakers have found that ISO sensitivity between a range of 100 to 400 
will generally give you higher quality. And there you have it. Those are our four basic elements to look at when filming with your DSLR. Okay, to review. FPS, frames per second. Typically, filmmakers use 23.98 or 24. Shutter speed. If we're filming in 24, then we want it to be double that. So 48, we're 50. Aperture, measured in f-stops. When you're using f-stops, make sure to keep it low for more light and items close up. Keep it higher for less light and items that are further away. ISO, try to keep it below 1600. And remember, the higher the ISO, the grainier the picture. And there you have it. So take your cameras, put it in manual mode, and get yourself out there filming.